Freedom is a study which also looks at nilotinib, uh, but this time frontline therapy, because of course now we use nilotinib as frontline therapy, it's been approved for a number of years, and we know that actually it gives us a better probability of achieving a sustained deep molecular response. Um, the MR4.5 at five years um, is close to 60%, and the incidence of um, sustained MR4.5 for at least two years is 40 to 45%. They probably continue increasing over time, but that's the data we have at five years. So, so now what happens with those patients when we stop therapy? And um, what and that, that's the question that NS Freedom uh, answered. Um, and, uh, and, and the data shows that uh, grossly about half of the patients are able to uh, discontinue therapy and remain off therapy after treatment discontinuation. Uh, just as we had seen with uh, imatinib and just as we had seen with an uh, stop uh, using nilotinib after imatinib, uh, the great majority of the relapses, probably 85% of the relapses happen in the first six months. Um, and then the, the slope of the curve, the, the incidence of relapse decreases significantly. But it remains uh, very few patients later on, but, but some. Um, and um, also, the great majority of patients, almost everybody who lost the response and had to resume therapy, responded again when we treated them with nilotinib again. Um, and, and, and of course, when they relapse, we resume nilotinib because it's uh, the, the reason why they relapsed is because we had stopped it, so they were they were responsive and 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 um, usually those patients were tolerating the treatment well, so they resumed nilotinib and they respond very well.